Welcome home. Good evening. I'm sorry you haven't been home for days because of this. Oh, it's all right. I'm glad to be of help. <sighs> Where's my mother? She's inside. Is she better? Not really. Come in. Mason, let's just leave her alone. Come, let me get you some dinner in here. Susie, come here, I want to tell you something. I, I mean, it's not certain. We're not 100% certain. But there's a chance Inez is alive. What? Shh, my mother can't hear this. Oh, I understand. God smiles on the poor who's suffering. I'm so happy. I'm not going to tell Mom until we're sure this is actually true. Okay, okay. I promise I won't say anything to her or anyone else. The person in the car was not Inez. That's what we're sure of now. There's there's a possibility that she's alive. <sighs> I'm so happy. I'm so happy. <laughs> you must be hungry. Let me get you something to eat. You should disappear today, so there's no trouble. Eh, you don't have much time left either. They'll be on top of us sooner or later. Faya, you'll leave first thing tomorrow. And you will be on your way before nightfall, whether the girl is with you or she's not. If there's a problem at all, my men will surely deal with it. Thank you, and God bless you. May he bless everyone, all of us. I should be on my way now. Have a good night. See, my beautiful girl is ready to go to bed. I'm very sleepy already. I think it's because you made me eat so much food today. <laughs> I make you eat so much so you can grow up nice and strong, baby. Want me to read you a nice story? My mom was going to read to me, but I'm sleepy, so can you read to me tonight? Tomorrow my mom is going to read to me. Okay, sounds good. She will read to you tomorrow. Come here. Ah, uh, uh, oh, so sweet. Uh, oh, the little rabbit was very happy when it woke up that day. When the rabbit left the house with his mother and two brothers for the picnic in the park, they saw the sun shining like a yellow ball in the sky. It was the perfect day to take a walk to the park. I thought you said you had nothing to do. Weren't you planning to stay here for a little while longer? I already signed the contract. They want me to start on the project right away. Is there another reason for wanting to leave now? Uh, no. What sort of reason would there be for me to leave? Um, I've never seen you so excited. Oh. Uh. Will you only be in Berlin? I don't know yet, but it looks that way. I'm leaving early tomorrow morning, so I won't wake you up. I can drop you off at the airport if you'd like. Oh, no worries. I can get there myself. Unknown caller. <sighs> Hello. Your time to think is up, so give me an answer. Do you want your sister, or do you not? So how do I know you really have my sister with you? Why should I believe you? You can't know that for sure. That's the beauty of this, you know? send you an address. Either you bring Aaron 
to that address tomorrow at three. Or you never see your sister alive again. Your decision. What do you say? What will you do, Mason? What else can I do? I'll have to give him what he wants and try my luck. So, Ethan, do you have another one of those crossword puzzles that I can solve? Robert, please be careful. Make sure it doesn't injure your brain or something. What a thing to tell me. I'm just bored sitting here. Here you go. There's a pen right there. Tell me the name of a river in Asia. How should I know? Well, I can teach you. Sit down. Here, Mr. Ethan. Thank you. You shouldn't have bothered yourself. No trouble. <laughs> Where have you been? We were worried. After the lawyer, where else could he possibly be? He can't think of anything else except Aaron. That damn skinny tramp. He's going to bring her. He has to. He has no choice. Oh, I'm sure. I'm very sure of it. But he will bring the police with him. See, he's telling you what could happen to you. You get angry whenever I open my mouth. Speak, Mr. Ethan, speak. May God bless you. Fire, of course I already know the police will come with him. What am I, an idiot? If he has the police on his side, so do I. <laughs> 